Hello Aquarius, how are you guys doing? Welcome into your weekly love tarot reading. In this week we're going to check your person's current feelings towards you. So we're going to see what is currently going on with them and then we're also going to check and see how they're feeling towards you and also how they view you or how they see you as well. In the extended reading, if you want to check that out, if this reading resonates with you, it's the closest I can get to almost giving you guys like a personal reading. Um, and it's, it's an actual personal reading, I'm just saying. Um, and then we're going to check out how they going to be feeling moving into 2021 so what's their energy going to be like and how they will still be feeling towards you especially in the first three months of the year how they will be feeling towards you if anything changes and most importantly i want to check out how you are going to be feeling moving into the new year as well with regards to this person or the connection we cannot forget your energy you are the main character in this story okay so let's get the energy out a card has fallen on the ground as usual and it is the sun card well, your person is happy. Let me just tell you, they got some kind of awakening moment, some kind of enlightenment. They're looking to the future here with this card. This is a very excellent first energy card to come out here in a person's energy. Um, they're looking to the future with hope. Okay, they're looking into the future with light shining. Look how this, this lady just has this their arms thrown open like they're so trusting to the world and the universe and the light is just shining right out of their chest. It tells me yeah, activation of emotion is there. The heart is involved here with this person's energy. But they are looking to the future and they see good stuff in the future between you and them. I wonder what this is. I don't think, if this is a, I don't feel like it's an ex-person. If it's an ex-person, wow, then you guys are having like a major reconciliation happening here that would bring out some happiness like that. If this is, it's, it can be any scenario to tell you the truth. It can be totally any scenario. So let's have a look and see what else comes up here in your person's energy. Again, let's see what card is under there. The strength card in the reverse position. There's your Leo energy there. Let me tell you something. Um, yeah, I feel like this is... It, could possibly be a new person but it's leaning to more towards somebody that you know if this is an ex let's let's start with it because i feel like every scenario is kind of coming through here if this is an ex person um you guys have been through some really tough times with the strength card being in the reverse position but you overcame that and they overcame this as well because the strength card in the reverse position almost feels like when you give up but you know when you give up and then you realize you know you actually going through it anyway sometimes we give up and say i'm not surviving i'm not going to be able to do this this i've given up everything and then like three months later you actually find like you didn't give up you know what i mean it's like when you go to gym you know and you're like you got three more minutes on the treadmill and you're just like i'm gonna give up but you don't give up and you make those three minutes happen that's them that's their vibe very strong energy that's coming through here let's see what else is coming through if this is a current person there has been a bit of problems in the river in the um in the past between you the two of you you have faced some difficult times but I felt I felt like they didn't give up even when they wanted to and you guys have passed through this energy new person this is their history they have had some really tough relationships in the past they may have thought they may have, have ne they will never find the right person for themselves but yeah you are and it's almost like this what can bring out this amazing energy as well and this amazing energy is def amazing amazing energy is definitely something that is shifting into a new way of being the time for this to happen is now because this is ace of wands energy so ace of wands energy you need to know if this is a current connection it indicates that you and your person even though you are together this is shifting into a new way of being this is almost like if it's a current person's energy you know how i feel i feel like it's almost like um when people renew their vows or they renew their connection to each other and it's like a new different way of being together it's this fresh energy it's this reconnection it's like going on honeymoon again you know that kind of vibe where the romance comes back into the relationship that's how that's feeling it feels positive if this is an ex that's coming back in obviously this is them coming in offering that that stick of love guys that passionate passionate energy they wanting to have a start over again they feel like the time to do so is now especially because they've got the shine card being there that's like wow they are literally opening themselves up to you totally the new person's energy is just the same as well and um, this is somebody coming in they're very very attracted to you with that ace of wands being there my goodness gracious i don't know 
what must be going on between the two of you but that is passionate and that is somebody wanting to start something off like now okay december what a month wow so now let's have a look and see how do they view you i love that how do they feel about you sorry we're gonna check how they view you at the bottom how they feel about you is that they are committing themselves to you i don't care whatever scenario this is this person looks at you and with the Eight of Pentacles being there, dedicated effort, thank you. Can I just get a hallelujah? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we so lack sometimes in relationships. They're looking at you and they are getting themselves in a place where they want to be committed to this relationship. And because it's in the reverse position, they are willing to work on anything that is wrong any problems that you guys may face even if it's a new person and go past this place and dedicate this almost like dedicated effort but for a long time facing whatever problems come and just move through it this is very beautiful guys wow so let's see how else they view uh, they see you as wanting to do the same by the way but i feel like it's them as well they see you as wanting to do the same and they are willing to do the same as well this is unbelievable wow you see you see you got the devil card here, release energy. Um, and it's so interesting. I'm finding something so interesting here. Do you see how both of these cards kind of have energy coming straight out of the chest here? This is heart chakra energy. And they are releasing themselves to you. They are, it's almost like they're going, um, I'm trusting everything. I'm trusting the unfolding. I'm trusting where this is going. If it's a new person, it's the same. If it's somebody that you're currently with, you guys are moving into a new way of being. It can even be to a place of commitment as well. If this is an ex coming in, they have surrendered. They have released, their, they've opened up their heart to you. Literally, as you can see, they've literally opened up their heart. They revealed everything about how they feel about you and they want to start this again. This is a newfound energy. It also happens when you have learned some major lessons as well okay so let's go deeper into this and see what comes up here with regards to the eight of pentacles i believe it's commitment yeah they're leaving an old way of being behind and they're committing to a new way whatever is going on here you guys are leaving a cycle it's like if it was an ex you guys went through something and they leaving whatever that was behind with the eight of cups energy they moving into this eight of pentacles energy which is long-term commitment where before they may not have wanted to do that no even if you're currently with this person whatever your relationship was before this they walking away from that energy and they want to move into this energy here now a new person obviously they leaving I don't feel like they're leaving a person. I'm not going to say that. They're leaving the way that they used to be. Um, also, they want to leave the past in the past as well. They do not want to repeat any kind of mistakes they've made in past relationships. That's also excellent. And um, also the way of being. I feel like they may have been a bit alone for a while. Well, they haven't connected on an emotional level to anyone because that's Eight of Cups there. When I look at those Eight of Cups, I feel like there's something. There's a, there's a cup missing. I don't know if you noticed that. There's these eight cups, right? But there's a ninth cup here. And this is what's been missing in their life. They could have actually built quite a good life for themselves here. But they're still alone walking there. You know, the next... Um, uh, card in this deck is the nine of cups. And that is when you put this cup here and it becomes nine of cups and not the eight of cups. They are walking away from only having these eight cups and want to move into a place where they can move this to the nine and the 10 of cups. Wow, this is beautiful. Especially, I think this is for almost everyone, all those scenarios out there. That is nice. Let's have a look into the release energy here and see what comes up here. Rebuilding, rebuilding, especially if this is an ex or a current person. Um, if it is a new person, it also indicates they want to start something because in the in the past, they've had breakups and they've been out in the cold. I told you I felt like I kind of been alone for a while. Um, if this is the ex or the or current person that you're with, um, which can be an ex as well, I'm just saying. This is them knowing that the past could have caused problems. You guys, maybe if you were together with them, you guys had a problem in the past that caused the strength card to get into the reverse position. Um, they can't change that. Even the ex-person cannot change the breakup that happened. All they can do 
is change themselves and walk away from what they know into what they want to have and restart this with you and rebuild because you cannot change the five of pentacles it's history and all you can do is move forward and build it up again so this is very interesting i'm just saying aquarius hello so now let's see this is very positive energy i'm picking up on so much of these kinds of things at the end of 2020 so now more info about them okay um Confidence is your key to success. By the way, uh, they view you as being very, very confident. This is your Leo energy that is rocked up there. One thing, and we've got the Capricorn as well. Yes, we've got Capricorn that's rocked in here. We've got the Leo energy now twice. This is quite interesting, I'm just saying. Um, they are definitely going to approach you very confidently, but they also feel like you yourself are a very confident person. So they have to match your energy as well. With this, confidence is the key to your success. That is new moon in Leo energy. So that indicates a new change and a new beginning between you and them, especially with the Ace of Wands being there. Very different. I don't feel like whatever this is, if this this is a new person this is not like a relationship that you've been in before this is going to be different this year hey can we just have that you know what i mean oh can we not have the same old kind of relationship coming back with different faces you know what i mean this is different especially with the sun card being the first card that we pulled out there wow now if we are looking at an ex person or a current person, your guy's relationship is going to go to a place where it is different. It hasn't been here before as well. I wouldn't be surprised what cards come up here. Let's see what comes up here. Very nice energy. You guys will rebuild. If this is an ex person, they definitely want to rebuild with you. Um, you are very close to achieving your goal, Gibeous Moon, the step before the full moon. You're starting out with new moon. You literally haven't yet reached the place where you guys are totally back together yet, but you will. Um, they believe that you guys can do this. They got very confident energy in their energy. Um, I feel like you might be on board with this as well. If this is a current person that you're with as well, they're on board with you. They they're on board with you as well. You guys are wanting to go in the same direction. This is very good. If this is a new person, I think you're eager to actually see where this relationship will go. Both of you, I've got the same mindset here, which is very nice. Ex person as well. Um, you can heal this. Honestly, with them, I feel like you can heal the situation. They're coming in with a lot of light here, which is very positive for me to see. And I like the energy that I'm looking at. Okay, so now let's see how they view you. Wow, they got really strong feelings to you. They got feelings, you know how I feel? It's almost like they feel they can succeed. And they learned this because they got the strength card in the reverse position, which is beautiful. How they see you, wow. Wow, like their world. <laughs> they see you like their world. I'm just saying, there is the world card. And this is embrace energy. They've accepted you. And I feel like you may be accepting them back in as well with open arms. Um, not necessarily guarded open arms. Um, especially if it's an ex, even if it's a new person. The heart is growing stronger here. Inside this, this world, there's a heart with roots here. So it indicates as the more and more time that you guys spend together, you know, roots grow and it gets deeper. And one day, I'm just saying, there might be a family tree that comes out of the earth there like that with a very big tree because of the roots that have grown between you and them. This is developing into something amazing. The world card as well indicates that they view you as being able to manifest anything you want in your life. You have actually built your world up on your own. I feel like this is even how they see you. You got this power just to build the world. And I think that's one of the things that they really admire in you. I've got to say, you can create what it is you want to have in your world. So let's see how else they see you as well. That's what makes them want to be with you, to be honest. This energy of the world being how they view you, it's amazing. Well, they know you're reluctant. I did see, I did kind of like feel um, when I said, um, you know, open them with open arms, but you know, just be aware, you know what I mean? Not that open, you know, like, mm -hmm. and this is not that open. You they, you, they know. I think you guys are connecting already because you know already that they're making this offer towards you and they have got this opportunity beckons in your place where they see you. So they may have already reached out and said, look, okay, here I am. Yes, the opportunity, but they also are aware that you have not accepted it fully in yet. You're being very cautious moving forward because your opportunity beckons, your back is turned to it. 
and it doesn't mean that you're not going to accept it. I love the way there's this round shape here of the world, but there's a round shape here of the world as well. And it's almost like, yes, it doesn't mean that you will not accept this offer, but you are doing so very cautiously moving forward. I mean, I cannot blame you for doing that. I would be cautious as well. And um, even if this is a current person that I'm with, if there has been history of problems happening, with an ex-person, of course, you're going to move forward very carefully. But if you are the world as they see you being the world, a stubborn world, because it's like a, a stone ball or a big like steel ball over here. Yes, you have a beautiful heart inside, but you sure protect it well with that steel ball somewhere inside there. This is so funny. <laughs> somewhere inside the steel exterior that you show the world, the heart is in there. This is what you do. You cover that. You protect it. They know that. Uh, they know that. But they also know what lies deeper within you. Even if this is how you show yourself to the world, this person can see deeper inside of you and see the heart that actually lies there. If this is a very new person to you, they they see, they see sussed you out. They saw the sweet person inside Aquarius. Even though sometimes you can be a bit shut off or a little bit on your own and you may appear cold to people sometimes, but they see deeper in you. That is beautiful. Okay. And they've kind of like showed themselves to you as well by opening up of their heart as well. This is nice. They're taking a big risk if this is a new person. Let's see what else comes up here. Five of Wands energy in you. Yep. A lot of you guys are still thinking about this. You're still going to be very defensive. You're going to take your time here. Um, it's going on in your mind. You kind of think like, um, so what do we do? Maybe you're even discussing this with them. And they could be talking to you and saying, you know, I'd love to start this up with you again. I want to be around you. And you might go, okay, I'm going to take this very, very slow. I want to see how things unfold. We will see how things go. That's the kind of vibe I'm picking up. And I feel like you guys are connecting. So well, they also know you're scared. They also know you're scared. They know that you're afraid as well. If this is a new person, they know that you're scared that you'll get hurt. Um, you may have been hurt in the past. I mean, nobody just builds a big steel ball around their heart like that because you know it's fun. We do that because of the pain that we have suffered in the past. They are aware of that. They know that, look at there, there's that steel balls coming through again. They know that you protect that heart like that. Look at this, you see? And they are aware. Sometimes you might have been really hurt in the past because the four of pentacles in the reverse position but I feel like they know this about you already but they are willing to still come in and maybe they're going to show you that is why that is why they open up the way that they open up because because they want to show you who they are because they know you've been hurt in the past so they want to be very transparent with you wow this doesn't matter if it's an ex or a current person even if it's a current person or an ex it could have been a them that hurt you like this that's why you're so cautiously moving forward but they being very transparent with you very open wow that is quite interesting hey so now let's see advice for you going forward here Aquarius let's see what comes up here I love the way I say advice for you going forward and the card that I get says keep going forward <laughs> ascending the mountain yeah it's not going to be easy it is the strength energy it doesn't matter can I tell you let me give you a little a little hint here you see every relationship on the planet is ascending the mountain there is not a couple that is not ascending them, ascending this mountain. But at the top of that mountain, it's worth it. It is worth it because what you find up there is everything. You see everything from on, on, from above. And it, the, tri the trip is worth it. You know when you go hiking and you're just dying on the way up. And when you get to the top, you just look at the view and you're just like, wow. I would never have seen this, you know, if I never persevered. That is the, the way that you guys will work with each other from this point onwards. This is very, very nice energy. Okay, what I do like about this is the way that I was saying you guys must what, what what must you do keep going forward and then your spirit guides literally say keep just keep going forward excellent I love when they do that because it tells me that we're right on the right track here you gotta keep I feel like keep going forward and one billion cars fell on the ground but one car 
is sticking out and I don't see it. It's laying. I'm going to take the card that's furthest from me because it's the one I'm looking at. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what is under. I can't see. Let's see what's under there. I don't know what it is since last week. I'm even getting embarrassed. I'm just saying. Every time I shuffle cards, I don't know if it's just me or if the spirit cards is wanting to talk a lot. It, they just keep flying all over the room, you know. Oh my goodness gracious. And look what card is laying. This was the one that was like over there. I had to literally move my chair. No wonder. They're like you're ascending the mountain. It's not going to be easy for you to just get to the gates of triumph. Okay. You got to go further and reach further. I had to reach underneath a tripod stand to get that card. And that's what you got to keep doing. Keep going forward. Ascend the mountain. It will never be easy. But you will go through gates of triumph. It's almost like these gates are on the top of the mountain. Just over there somewhere. When you get there, you're going to be triumphant. Success expands in your life. Keep going forward. This is amazing. I feel like your person is working on themselves. They have realized some major things. If this is a new person, this is beautiful, guys. Wow, what a connection. To find somebody like this, it makes me believe in love. I'm just saying, guys. It makes me go woo all over the place. So let us have a look. Let's just get one message out for you guys when, before we leave this reading. I just feel like I think you're the only ones I'm doing this for. I just I feel the vibe, the woo-woo, you know. Oh, man, look at this. Release the past. Advice from your spirit. Please release the past. Cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. You may have already been doing this, working on healing yourself. I think they have as well. It doesn't matter what scenario they're in. Both of you guys have been working on healing. Both of you guys, I feel like it's more meant for you though, but in some element for them as well. Purification activates what is happening now. Healing activates gates of triumph. When we work on ourselves and we work on fixing where, our, where, we, where we're in pain, what is irritating us, and we decide to take steps to better our life, that's purification as well. Because when you do that, when you take steps to better your life, you have to remove the negative things out. It's what activated this entire scenario to come out here. It's what has caused this relationship. Even if it meant at one point that you removed them from your life. I'm just saying, if this is an ex, you may have removed them as the bad thing in your life. And it actually activated them to go on a healing journey, which they nearly thought they couldn't do, but they did at the end of the day. And this is what's bringing this relationship in now in, in a positive way. Guys, don't think that the exes can't work. I've seen couples break up and they're apart for a couple of months even, and they get back together and years and years and decades later, they still with each other. I've seen it many times, it does happen, okay? People change and people really realize what they've lost only when they lose it. And if this is a current situation, guys, you can, you can work this through. You can work this through, work on healing your energies, work on moving, moving, keep moving forward because up there is this gates of triumph. New person, Wow, I'm just saying, that is amazing energy. There we go, Aquarius. I'm wishing you guys an amazing Christmas if I don't see you again. The readings will be out next week anyway, because I work. <laughs> so if you want to check that out, you can check back next week on Tuesday again. Otherwise, guys, I'm sending you all light and love. Thank you for watching. Bye.